I ate lunch in the school bathroom before. I never used that locker a day in my life. Baby, if a senior come up to you as a freshman, baby, run! <laughs> Yay! What's up, guys? My name is Ariana, and welcome to my channel. So you're clicking on this video because you want some freshman advice, right? When I was, you know, around y'all age and I was about to enter my freshman year, I definitely searched on YouTube and it was like, freshman advice because I was super nervous. I didn't know what to expect. It's different than elementary school, middle school, obviously. Like, it's just so different. You're in school with kids like a lot older than you. Not that much older, but you're there for four years. Today, I wrote in my little notebook some advice for you guys that I wish I knew. I'm about to let y'all in on the tea, baby, okay? Stay tuned if you want some freshman advice. I know some of you guys probably already started your freshman year, but where I live, we started in September, so sorry. But you could still use this freshman advice even if you started a week ago. This could still help you navigate through your freshman year. Let's get right into the nitty gritty, relationships. Baby, if a senior come up to you as a freshman, baby, run, baby, run. I don't care. Uh, go around the, go around, go. Don't collect no money. Just keep on running across the board. Don't let them get you. All right. Now this is, uh, I'm obviously a girl. So this is catered to my girls. Even if you're a guy and a girl, freshman girl, I mean, not, not a freshman girl, a senior girl trying to get up to you. Now I know the little boys like the fresh, I mean, I know like the freshmen like the senior girls. Okay, when I was senior, I had little freshman boys trying to get with me, okay? Don't that happen. You're 18, the freshmen are most likely, four, not 14, yeah, 14, 15, yeah. So they, they are literally just becoming teenagers. Come on now. If a senior tries to come up to you, unless it's like on a friendship level, not trying to get into a relationship, kissing and all that stuff, Try to like stay away from that. If it's like a big sis, big bro, or like best friend type of situation, then that's different. But please, if you think about it, think about this. They're literally seniors. They're about to be out, okay? Just think about that. They're about to either go to college or do whatever they wanna do. You think they're gonna wait for you to go through four years of school I just had to get that out the way because that's I feel strongly about that I might come back to that a little bit later but I want to move on next is friendships relationships most likely won't last throughout the four years of your high school stay just keep that in the back of your mind that it might not it's gonna hurt regardless if like you and your friend break up break up like y'all aren't friends anymore it's always gonna be hard but just keep that in the back of your mind that most relationships don't last throughout high school. Me personally, I probably have two friends that, people that I actually hang out with. I've talked to probably two people out of my whole high school run, you know? Most likely, if you're going to middle school to high school, your middle school friends are gonna be in high school. But remember, you guys aren't gonna always have class together and stuff. Me personally, I think high school is a way to figure out who's your real friend who is your fake friend okay in high school everyone wants to be popular everyone's trying to get to figure themselves out let's let's be honest we're not gonna be the same as we were in middle school going into high school you may think your friends are changing and stuff but some people are in your life for a reason and some people are in your life for a season okay i think that's how the saying goes not everyone's gonna be in your life forever some people are here to teach you lessons and some people are blessings you know some people might be a blessing for a little bit and then later on down the line they become a lesson, you know? Establish good at relationships with your teachers, please. I'm telling you, as a freshman, I really was like, F you to the teacher. Like, I didn't really care, but make sure you know your teacher's name. Make sure you establish good relationships with them because I promise it's gonna benefit you in the long run, especially if you wanna go to college or if you start getting a job, they're gonna ask for um, references and stuff. So, when you become a senior and you want to apply for college, they're going to ask for um, for recommendation letters and you usually get them from your teachers. Now, if you never talked to a teacher or made a connection or a relationship with a teacher, 
it's gonna be so hard to get that so try to be cool with your teacher because it can benefit you in the long run don't kiss your teachers but you know try to get on their good side so it benefits you in the long run okay we're trying to get through these four years as easily and as smoothly as possible who has time to be getting in detention arguing with the teacher who got time for that who got time for that at the time being a freshman it might seem fun it might seem cute but when you get older it's like if you plan on going to college i promise you it's not gonna be like that you're not gonna be arguing with the teacher and stuff like no have fun with like getting to know other people like i said you're not always going to be in the same class as your friends get to know other people you know usually in classes they kind of let you sit where you want to the first day then they kind of mix it up well my teachers did they mixed it up had you sit next to different people and that's how you get to know people try your hardest try your hardest to stay away from drama now listen my years of high school what the f nigga looking at i swear I, this is why i can't do this this is why i can't do this in my personal opinion i forgot what i was gonna say try your hardest to stay away from drama me personally i did get into some drama you know we're gonna get to that <laughs> all right listen let's just get into it don't let a boy or a girl get in the between of you and someone like if you're best friends with someone don't let a boy ruin that please i swear that's like the root of most of the drama in high school is around boys being like oh you like him but i like him all that stuff please these boys don't have cars they don't have jobs they're just they're the same age as you they they're trying to figure out their life as well please don't argue over no little boy please don't there's plenty of fish in the sea you know how many people are going to be in your school like a lot and the person who's probably your match is the person you least expect please don't fight over a boy let's get into like schoolwork, homework all that stuff now listen we're in school to learn that's why we're going to school yes you're in school to get to know yourself make friends all that stuff but you have to pass you have to pass in order to graduate i was a b c student you know average i i have no shame in that okay i wish i tried harder you know i wish i paid attention more but listen i'm gonna give you all some tips make sure to do your homework make sure now me personally me personally i didn't do my homework i literally but i passed i don't know when i had time to do my homework i would do my homework on the bus ride to school i would do it the morning of i would do it right before i entered class i would do my homework and who got that type who has that type of time to be stressing and stuff i don't got time so just do your homework sometimes if you have if you get assigned the homework and before class is over you guys have free time try to do some of your homework maybe during lunch do your homework or as soon as you get home just do your homework get it over with and then you don't have to worry about it no more homework is stressful please try not to stress yourself out too much i know sometimes you get a lot of homework but try to like plan it out me i'm the worst person to give advice on this because i literally never did my homework but let me tell y'all something quizlet will be your best friend quizlet is your best friend now listen i know that's a form of cheating but listen you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes all right and why is quizlet even a thing if i can't use it now try your hardest to do the homework by yourself and if you don't understand it in class make sure to ask the teacher for help that's what the teacher is for the teacher is there to help you now i know i was i was always afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to ask for help it's okay they're here the teachers are literally getting paid to help you and you can even ask your friends for help as well that are in your class because in high school i was in biology was it biology biology and the teacher was doing like these problems right no one understood this one kid came up to the class and taught it to us like he put it in like words that we could understand like he explained it in a way that we all understood and the teacher couldn't do that so if your teacher can't explain it try to lean on to a person or a student in the class who does understand it make a group chat 
Listen, in math class, we had a group chat. Now, if you're a smart person, I wasn't a smart person. Like, listen. If you're a smart person, you always did your homework and people always ask you for the homework. You have two options. You could give it to them or you could say no. And people would be like, oh, you being the... No, you worked hard to do the work by yourself. And now you could help them. You could guide them. Just don't let people use and abuse you. Don't let people always get the answers from you. It's kind of not fair to you because you put in all this hard work and then, but you know, I did ask some people for homework, but I never did it a whole bunch of times. Like, I'd be like, oh, can I just get one question? Not the whole homework. Like, come on y'all. Y'all have to understand the work too. When y'all are taking that test, it's just you and that piece of paper. When you're taking these standardized tests, I don't know if they still do that anymore, like these state tests, you're, it's you and that paper. It's literally you and that paper. So try your hardest to do it by yourself. Like I said, you can use Quizlet. It's not always correct, but listen, I use Quizlet. I, let's let's be honest here it's there for a reason so do not skip class all right it's not worth it at all i st <laughs> well freshman year i never skip class because try not to ruin your reputation freshman freshman year please don't try to ruin your reputation don't be like you want the teachers to know your name for a good reason you don't want the teachers to know your name for oh he he skips class because you know teachers be talking about us and they little in their little cafeteria room or whatever just like we talk about them they talk about us let's be honest but you don't want to be known as the kid who is known for skipping class who never does his work now if you're going through something like personally behind the scenes at home um i never felt that comfortable talking to my guidance counselor but they do have guidance counselors and stuff or talk to someone that you trust you know that's going a little bit deep but i just wanted to you know put that out there yeah attendance does matter listen this is about freshman advice because let me tell you senior year i really didn't care um <laughs> i really did not care but skipping class can get you detention it could get you all these things that you just really don't want on your record because it could prevent you from graduating and who who has time for that who has time for that be on time for class now listen i don't know about y'all schedule but let me tell you something we had to be in class by 7 10 by 7 10 guess what time my bus came at 6 30 guess what time i got off the bus i got off the bus when i like close to like 655 okay then they want you to use your lockers baby i never used a locker i never used that locker a day in my life the whole four years i was in high school i didn't even have time to go to my locker first of all i'm going on a little tangent one class is on this side of the school and the other class is all, all the way on the other side baby i just kept everything in my book bag and prayed my back didn't break that's it but back to that don't skip class try to be on time for class um this person is about to like fucking be fucking annoying to me um yeah like literally they're parked right there like right there i'm gonna pretend like i'm doing an interview or something because they're parked right there. I look good today. And make sure you look into like the attendance rules and all that stuff. My brother's was different from mine. And he almost didn't graduate because of the attendance. You got all A's, but you got bad attendance and not graduate. Please, it's, it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. This is kind of like my last topic is social anxiety. I don't know about y'all, but I do deal with social anxiety and I didn't know it at first, but listen, I ate lunch in the school bathroom before. I know, I know, I know. That's so nasty. That's so, oh my God, how could you ever do that? You're trifling, people pee, people do all types of business there. Listen, this goes back to like the beginning of the video, like building relationships, finding new friends and all that stuff. I walked into that cafeteria and I didn't know not one soul. I didn't know not a soul. 
I was so overwhelmed that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just eat in the bathroom because I'm not about to sit by someone. But that's what you have to do sometimes. Sometimes you just have to sit down where there's an empty spot. Or let's say you see a familiar face, but you guys aren't best friends. Just sit next to them. Just sit next to them if they're a familiar face. And you, you never know, you guys could start becoming friends and stuff. That's what happened to me. I eventually started to sit next to people who had familiar faces, like, that I've probably seen in my class before, but I never talked to them. Just be like, oh, hey, like, you're in math class with me. Can I sit here? Like, I don't know anyone here. Like, not everyone's super mean. Most, most of the time, people are pretty chill in high school. It's literally all up here. Like, it's all up here it's your mind playing games with you not everyone's out to get you there are good people out there so now that i just completely embarrassed myself um make sure to sign up for sports sign up for clubs me my freshman year i did not sign up for anything i kind of wish i did but my sophomore year i signed up for cheer so yeah sign up for a sport sign up for a club that's how you get to know people that's how you establish relationships and that's also how you get to start to know yourself because you're around a whole bunch of different personalities you get to figure out what you like what you don't like and yeah that's a way to break out of like if you do have social anxiety or having trouble speaking with people um being socially awkward these things can help you going to clubs and all that stuff get engaged go to the pep rally go to the football games and baby football games be lit now me i really never got to enjoy a football game in my four years of high school my freshman year i was not engaged at all my other four years i was a cheerleader so i was cheering during the football game so it's not like i was i did watch but being in the stands is different than just being there watching the stands and cheering for them now i did enjoy cheer cheer definitely broke me out of my comfort zone a little bit i still stuck to myself and let's talk about peer pressure for a second now usually you know you want to fit in with like the popular girls you want to fit in with like the popular people blah 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 I really didn't care. I was a cheerleader, but I was not popular whatsoever. There were popular girls on the cheer team. Was I buddy-buddy with them? No, because I just felt like it wasn't authentic. I didn't want to feel... Like, I wanted to feel like I had a real friendship with someone. Just don't be, like, pressured to do things you don't want to do. Like, smoking, drinking. Don't feel pressured to do that. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. Like, and if people try to make fun of you for not doing it, then they're not your friend. They do not care about you at all because one thing about it, like, I have a friend, they know that I don't do that stuff and they respect that I don't do that. They're like, good, you know, I don't want you to do that anyway if you don't want to. Like, you feel me? But not everyone's like that. Just don't. I know it's it's hard. Sometimes it, you can give in to peer pressure but just try to stand your ground. Try to stand in what you believe in. No, I know it's hard. I know. Just think about if you were to do something, think about like the consequences that could possibly come with it. Just think about that. Being peer pressured to send. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now, do not do it. You know the amount of times that people's pictures got leaked in school and now they're embarrassed and all that stuff please do not do it mind you in high school especially if you're freshman you're 14 through 18 you're a minor you could literally get in trouble for yeah y'all could get in trouble for that it don't matter if you're the child y'all are participating in it and you could get in trouble if god forbid the principal gets a hand of that or the wrong person gets a hand of that, baby, you could get in trouble and ruin your whole reputation. I, I'm just saying, do not do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not do it. Now, when you're older, that's your that's your thing. That's what you want to. That's what you want to do. But as a kid, because that's what you that's what you are. You're still a kid. 
don't do it also um losing your it's okay to be a virgin okay people say oh they make funny for being virgin no one honestly no one actually really cares and if they do care there's something wrong with them no one cares you're 14 and 15 don't give in to it wait for the right person now when you're older that's your decision that's what you want to do that's what you want to do just think long and hard about it if you want to do it don't feel pressured please don't feel pressured i know it's so i know it's so hard to give into peer pressure and it also helps if you have a friend who also shares like the same like values and like beliefs as you do it's easier because then you can lean on them and be like yeah girl like we're in this together and all that stuff if you do give in i'm not gonna shame you don't feel shamed if you gave in to the peer pressure you know we're all human we all make mistakes in your four years of high school you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna learn from them which is the most important thing is you're gonna learn from your mistakes if you do give in to this peer pressure so, popularity doesn't matter i know i probably touched this earlier but popularity does not matter i promise you once you leave high school no one cares about you no one cares no one's popular no one's this no one's that you're just bye we all go up to college we all go up here we go up there popularity in school does not really matter at all coming from someone who was not popular at all <laughs> the most important thing that i hope you take from this is just be yourself okay just be yourself make sure to make a good first impression first impressions are everything make sure to carry yourself throughout your school year as someone you would be proud to be you know like if you're that smart person don't be scared to show your smarts don't be scared to sign up for that i think it's ap classes don't be afraid to sign up for those smart classes forget people if they make fun of you for being smart they're jealous if people if people make fun of you they're jealous if people talk about your shoes they're jealous if bullying i didn't even talk about bullying but i'm gonna make a part two to this so comment down below if you want that part two and comment down below some other advice you want or any topics you want me to talk about for like freshman advice or just high school advice in general because i have graduated from high school and i made it i tell you and i've been through a lot i've been through a lot in high school i really hope this video helped you and comment down below anything else you guys want to see from me and make sure to like comment subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye